sunlight coming through so I'm going to try and avoid it because it throws everything out okay um as you know if you watch the previous video I'm doing a lot of tutorials today so I actually these are just press on nails that I'm using the sticky tabs on so I can whip them off after and um, the last the last video was bubble nails actually that sun could come handy in some at some points today so you can see them there. This one is clear for me to do a live tutorial with. Excuse my cuticles. My hand's taking a beating at the moment. Um, this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, add foil to gel nails. Um, there are loads of ways of doing it. I've tried all the glues. I've tried um, sometimes if you've got a decent base coat, you can actually use your base coat as your um, layer that you're going to stick your foil to. Um, but I finally found a product. Um, it's been about for a while. It is amazing. I'm gonna big it up. There's well, there's nothing else to say really. Um, so uh, what you will need is um the foils that you want to use. Um, okay, let me start that bit again. The first thing you want to do is apply base uh, color coat. Um, what I try and do is look at the foils I'm using. So I've chosen these really vibrant foils today. Please excuse my mat as well. It is my messy mat, um, as you can see. So I've picked these really vibrant foils today. So what I tend to try and do is put a colour that will kind of match them. So if for some reason not all the foil takes, it won't look um, out of place because you've kind of got a colour underneath. So I've two coated these nails. Um, here I've used Blue Sky Neon 21. Again, you can tell it's one of my faves because it's messy. Um, the other thing I'm going to be using is this Urban Graffiti foil glue transfer gel it is the best stuff honest to god okay so what we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is cut our foils down to a manageable size so i tend to cut strips like that okay so i'm just going to cut up Those, move them out of the way. Again, I'm saving one of the nails um, because I'm going on to Instagram live. So I'm going to do one of the nails on there. Um, I think we use that one. And save that one for live. Okay. Now you can do them all at the same time if you want. Um, that's it's completely up to you. Um, I'm going to do one at a time just to show you. Um, or shall I do two? I'll do one to start off with, and we'll see how we're going. Not the camera. Great one, Kelly. Right, two color coats on. We're then going to apply a layer of the Urban Graffiti foil glue gel so I will do it look I've already got glitter on that one I'm gonna do it on this one first so as you can see I'm not slopping it on but I'm not being tight with it either okay there's a nice decent layer on there make sure you get your ends as well so I'm just going to wipe that excess bit off there. See, it's a bit bulky. Okay, so we've got one layer on. We're going to stick that in the lamp and then you just cure it for 30 seconds. 
all it needs is a 30 second cure you can feel my finger warming up um the first oil i'm going to use is this one look at how pretty that is as you all know i'm a bit of a foil addict i can't freehand i'm not a great drawer so i have to use other things to get some fantastic effects on my nails right it's out and even just by moving my finger i can feel i can feel it on there if that makes sense now using a smaller manageable piece is better than trying to do the whole um keep it on its normal length they normally come in sort of sometimes meter strips half a meter strips depending on how much you're ordering um and i have always have one of these nearby so what we're going to do is kind of roughly line up where you want the foil so i'm not really bothered with this because it's a fantastic design so i'm gonna just gently and what i do because i used to really rub hard um but i used to use like my nail as well and i'd end up with like little scratch marks so what i use is this and i just give it a nice gentle rub all over not too hard, but not too soft either. And you can see a lot of the time that it's taken because, look at it. Can you see how the foil is clear there? So I know when this comes off that it's on. So I'm going to pull it off. And there we go. A covered nail. You can see just there where I haven't pushed it right down, okay? But other than that, that's a full covered nail with no issues whatsoever, other than that bit. Now I am gonna see, because in theory it's still tacky, I'm just gonna push that back on there and give a gentle rub. And pull it off again. And as you can see, that just filled in that gap. Okay? So that is nail, one done. What a stunning foil, check that out. Okay, I'm gonna do the thumb next. So again, I'm going to apply a nice amount of Urban Graffiti foil glue gel to my nail. I'm applying that on top of my pink sky neon 21 so gel on so we're gonna cure and remember what I said we are only curing for 30 seconds uh, nails getting hot um, right this time I think we'll go for should we do this one this is quite nice let's try this one If you are doing these on clients nails, it's a little bit easier because you've got two hands Do you see what I mean? So you can hold the finger and then using your other hand You can sort of start rubbing down on the foil when you're doing them on yourself sometimes They're okay um, But okay, so that's now cured So again like the other nail I'm gonna kind of line up roughly where I want it and then I'm going to push down it. And can you see there, I haven't pulled it around enough. So I'm going to rub this on this nail first. This time I'm going to make sure I rub my edges.
And again, I can see that it's taking because if I go like that, can you see that the foil has come away? Yeah. There we go. And the only bit I've missed is that bit, but it's still tacky. So that one was my fault because I didn't actually position the foil properly. What a twit. And there we go. So we'll use an orange stick and just remove the excess foil. And there we have it. Another, oh, there's a bit on my cuticle there. Which I can wipe that. Another foil nail. But do you see what I mean by if you have a matching colour underneath or a similar colour to those colours that are actually in the foil, you can see I've missed a small bit just there when the camera wants to zoom. But I'm not that fussed about it because it kind of goes. Okay. All right. Let's do one more. Yes, so we'll do the little finger now. So again, I'm going to apply not a thin layer. You can see this nail's actually got a bit of glitter stuck to it, but I'm not that fast on that. I'm actually going to wipe that off and start again. Right, urban graffiti, that's it. Whack the camera again, Kelly. Right, our urban graffiti foil gel. Again, a nice amount on the nail, but not so it's swamping the nail. And again, we just need to cure that for 30 seconds. So in the lamp it goes. Um, I'm going to use this one this time. Probably not so much pink in that one, but hey-ho! Just realised you can't see. There it is. Okay. So, now that's nice and cured. Okay, so again, getting our piece of foil, make sure I've placed it roughly in the center. My rough sides. Oh, rub that side. Like I said, you, you want to give it a decent um rub not too hard not too light but decent you know okay so again i can see that it's taken because i can see the foil's gone there so we're just gonna pull it off and there you can see perfect foil again just remove the excess off my nail uh not my nail even my finger using my orange stick there we go okay next thing i'm going to do is just give the ones that i've done a wipe not the nail just around my finger because they're a little bit tender i've been doing so much work and um on them recently on my nails that they are sore um, I've had long nails on for quite a while um, and it's time to get back to sort of normal nails right so our main ones are now done okay so we're just simply going to top coat them so I'm using a no wipe top coat 
I won't do them all on screen because that's a bit boring for you sitting here watching me top coat my nails. So we're just going to top coat this thumb. And I'm not going to lie, just like with anything with top coat, the minute you pop that top coat on, it just adds the finish. Now obviously you can see I've got a little bit of excess here and here but I'm not worried about those bits because those bits I will simply just remove once the actual nail is done. So that's got top coat on, that's going in the lamp and that's basically it. That's how we do the foil nails. Now obviously as I said at the start of the video there are loads of different um, products you can use. I've used lots of different glues. Um, I've tried this one, messy bottle lid. Um, I've tried Stargaze one. I've tried, I've tried lots. Um, when I'm doing what I call the sort of rip effect foil, so that I don't want full coverage, I don't use this one. Okay. When I just want little splashes on, um, what I actually do is apply two color coats. And then I use a really good base coat. So I would dot the base coat in the areas that I want it. Add the foil. Rub, rub, rub. Rip it off. Top coat it done. Um, I don't use this for the little sporadic ones. I, I like to use this one for a full cover um, gel now. Foil gel now. There we go. That's it done. So I'm going to go off and clean this. Top coat the other two hope you enjoyed it um again as usual i'm going to add a link to blue sky's website down below in the description go and visit i've got a massive range of colors as i said before um i've used them for quite a while i did take a break um but then i took a break from nails for a little while with all the lockdown crap but this time around it's been a lot different so um, yeah, I'm going to add a link to their website. I'll add my Instagram handle in the description as well. Um, come give me a follow. Next tutorial will be gel marble nails. Bye for now.